Hey guys, so today's video is going to be breastfeeding versus formula feeding in my experience. This is not going to be a super facts based type video. There are plenty of those for you to watch if you're looking for specific health benefits, um, that sort of thing, and scientific based facts. That's not what this video is going to be. This video is going to be things that are my opinion and what I personally have experienced because my first child, who is now six, was formula fed, and the baby I have currently, who is now 12 weeks old, is being breastfed. So I have done both. So I just wanted to let you know my experience if you are currently pregnant or maybe you just want to weigh in. I thought this would be a good place to do it. I want this to be inclusive. Fed is best. I would like to open up the comment section in and have a discussion on this. I don't want any kind of hate. Anyone can have their own opinions and we can discuss that as adults, please. So I made a pro-con list for both. I did this quickly in the car yesterday. I just had the idea and started jotting things down. So like I said, we're going to start off with breastfeeding and I'm going to start off with the pros in my eyes. So first is health-wise, I mean, as soon as you go for your first prenatal appointment, I feel like we are force fed all of the facts about how breastfeeding is best, which I do agree that it is the healthier choice. But I will say that the technology today, I'm sure formula is getting as close as they can to breast milk. Kids say 50 years ago, if you, you chose not to breastfeed, some of them were fed canned condensed milk. So formula has got to be a million times better than that. Did those kids survive? Yes. Are kids healthy and strong being formula fed? Yes. But I do understand the health benefits from breastfeeding. I'll leave it at that. The second pro I have written down here is weight loss. I lost the weight way easier to a certain point, and I'll get to that in a second from breastfeeding Wyatt versus formula feeding Maxwell. However, I lost all of my baby weight before Max was three months old because I had reconstructive jaw surgery. So I was on a liquid diet for six weeks. So that doesn't really count. I'm still struggling to lose almost 10 pounds with Wyatt. He, like I said, he is now 12 weeks old. So I'm struggling to lose that little bit but when you are breastfeeding, your body holds on to some of those fatty deposits as kind of like an insurance policy. So if you, it's a survival technique where if you don't get a chance to eat for uh, an extended period of time, your body has those fat reserves there to produce breast milk for your baby. So that is why I'm struggling a little bit to lose the last bit of weight, but the first portion of the weight that I lost, I lost it super quickly and that has to be from breastfeeding. Second thing I have on my list is the bond. The bond I have between myself and Wyatt is much stronger than what I had with Max at the same age because I get to see him eat, he's with me all the time, whereas I got to share a lot of the feedings with other family members, especially with my mom, who got to feed Max um, quite often, and he actually has a stronger bond with her than with me when he was younger, because when I did get my jaw broken, um, I wasn't allowed to lift him, I wasn't allowed to do anything like that, so my mom took care of him. So again, that was a factor, as it was with the weight loss, but I feel like the bond between your baby is stronger when you breastfeed. Does that mean you don't love your baby if you're formula feed? Not at all. So I don't want anybody feeling like I'm saying that. I just wanna say that my bond is stronger from breastfeeding. Fourth thing, breastfeeding is free. I know that it, cost is a large factor for many families. I wish I would have considered this a little bit more with Max. However, I wasn't as educated with Max as I am now. Formula is super expensive. Another pro for breastfeeding is you don't have to plan ahead as much. You have 
what your baby needs to eat right on your body, you can pick him up and leave. With that, there's less to pack and to carry around. All I need to bring really is like receiving blankets, some clothing, some diapers and wipes. That's all he really needs for us to go over to someone's house, let's say for a sleepover or even to be out for the whole day. There's less for us to have to pack and bring along with us. And it's convenient. I mean, your baby's hungry. You don't have to be fussing around with bottles, mixing them, making sure they're warm. What is on your body is the perfect temperature. You will always have a supply if you are able to breastfeed, of course. Now that I have that baby back down to his nap like he is supposed to be, I want to backtrack for just a second when it comes to bond. In my mind, bond isn't just love. Like, I love both of my boys 110 million percent. Um, and I think if you have kids, you obviously understand that. By bond, I, I'm very in tuned to Wyatt's needs. So it took a lot longer to learn those cues with Max. Maybe it was because I was a first time mom with Max and now I have had that experience. But also, the bond Wyatt and I have is very strong because he only wants me a lot of the time. Um, he loves hanging out with his big brother, but he doesn't like hanging out with dad for an extended period of time or with a lot of other family members. And that is in part due to his personality. He has a much more reserved personality than Max has and had. But I think part of it is because I am breastfeeding and I just wanted to add that in there. Now I'm going to move into cons for breastfeeding and there are a lot but all of them are very selfish cons. They are cons for me personally as an individual. They are cons for me. They aren't cons for me and why they are cons that we share and these cons may not even be a reason for you to not breastfeed or you may not have experienced these cons like I have so I'm just going to get into them. The first one I have is pain and no breastfeeding should not be painful if the latch is good however the first week or two just getting used to breastfeeding your nipples can become very sore you can get cracked or bleeding nipples and a lot of that comes with practice and your body will toughen up. So there is a pain initial, initially, so if you are trying to breastfeed and want to give up within the first few days, I would say keep going because it does get better after that. If that is your sole reason for not breastfeeding, there's of course many reasons why you may or may not. The pain in the first week or so, I found it to be really hard to the point of like trying to feed my baby with tears running down my face. Um, Max, I did try to breastfeed originally and he ended up spitting blood up all the time. So there is quite a lot that goes into that the first few weeks. However, I'm talking more about if you've ever had a clogged milk duct or if you've ever had mastitis. These are two things that can happen when you are breastfeeding and they are both extremely painful like I know pretty much everyone in the whole universe has experienced a stabbing pain at one point or another when I had mastitis I felt like I was literally being stabbed in the chest with a serrated blade and me describing it that way sounds super dramatic but if you have had mastitis you can probably relate that that is exactly what it feels like but those don't happen all the time. I do experience pain occasionally through milk production. And it is not a pain that would prevent me from wanting to breastfeed. It is just kind of a twinge here and there. I experience a pinching sensation when my milk lets down, which is not comfortable, but that is like a split second and then it's over. So there are pains associated with breastfeeding. Second, I have isolation and judgment. 
I'm finding this less of a con now that white is 12 weeks old but in the beginning I would go to feed my baby and everyone would vacate the premises like clear the room and I found that to be one of the hardest things was just I was trying to do what was best for my son by breastfeeding him now that I am more educated than I was six and a half years ago but I found that very hard to literally not have a single person want to be anywhere near me I wasn't, you know, having my whole chest hanging out, like I would cover myself with a blanket, I would do it very discreetly because I am a shy person when it comes to that anyways. And I'm not even talking about in public, I'm talking about like sitting on my own couch. And it wasn't even like people weren't looking at you because that could be a privacy thing, they're trying to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of privacy, trying not to like stare at your chest when you are trying to feed your baby, fine, but I'm talking about literally being like, oh, the baby's hungry, everyone stands up and goes to a different room. Every single person. Um, I cried about it many, many times. It is something that is getting more and more common, breastfeeding is. Again, I feel like it's one of those things that kind of goes in waves throughout history. Um, people, lots of people are breastfeeding and lots of people are formula feeding and it comes back up again. And right now it's like on an upward trend again, I feel in my opinion. So a lot of people aren't used to being around that and I am not. I will say that. That is probably a big reason why I did not breastfeed Max, which there are many reasons that go into me formula feeding max which i can make a whole nother video on that i just don't want to get too much into that right now but the isolation and judgment i felt through breastfeeding especially the first few weeks you're a new mom you want to be supported by your friends and family and i wasn't feeling that i have yet to experience a stranger being rude about me breastfeeding because um, at the mall I go to they have nursing rooms which is really nice I mean I don't really care if I'm sitting like in the food court or anything but it is nice to have their like nice couches they have change tables it's a really like nice homey feel I like going to those anyways but I have breastfed in public multiple times many times at restaurants especially and i've yet to experience someone outwardly say you know that's disgusting or cover yourself up and so i can't speak to that experience i'm sure it will happen um it's just something that people have to deal with i guess even though i don't think they should and i would not want to be that person that says anything like that to me because there is nothing wrong with breastfeeding your baby in public. But there is judgment and people will kind of look at you and they keep walking, uh, which is fine, you know? I feel like the more people see it, maybe more people will do it, but that is something that you may need to deal with if you breastfeed your baby. Clothes and nursing pads. Your wardrobe choices go to be about this big when you're breastfeeding your baby. I can't wear normal t-shirts unless they are, have a very low V, unless I want to do the whole like lift your shirt up and have your whole midsection exposed situation or layers, which right now it's way too hot for me to wear layers. I need to be wearing either a nursing bra or a nursing tank top. And you need something that you can easily like move around for accessibility. And nursing pads, I don't know if everyone experiences this and I don't know when or if it will stop. Having to put nursing pads in literally everything is horrible. Like I would be able to wear a normal bra, like a normal t-shirt bra, if I didn't have to wear nursing pads. I always need to have a nursing pad or else I'm going to have a soaking wet shirt. I basically can't wear 80% of my tops or dresses that are in my wardrobe because I am breastfeeding. 
Um, another thing that kind of goes along with that is being so lopsided after feedings. I can be more than a cup, I'm about a cup and a half in the difference from one side to the other right after a feeding, which in tops is very noticeable and it looks very strange. So if I'm wearing a tank top or something that's a little more form fitting, there is a very noticeable difference between the size of my boobs after I feed him. And the last two cons I have on my list, I'm sure I will think of more as soon as I'm done filming this video. I could make, probably even make a part two to this at some point when I've been breastfeeding even longer. The last two I have is no breaks and frequent feedings. So breast milk is the perfect food for your baby in the sense that it is super easy for them to digest. So when you fill their belly, their body can quickly process that and move it along, which means there are more frequent feedings. They get hungry more often because the milk isn't sitting in their belly for as long as formula sits in their belly. And formula is a heavier liquid anyways, but more than that, it's the di digestion. And me not getting any break is one, because I have to feed him so often that I really can't go anywhere without him. And that is because if you've been watching my videos, you know that Wyatt refuses to take a bottle right now, which we are working on. I get no break. And that is a con for me as much as I would love to take my baby everywhere with me and never have him out of my sight. Sometimes moms just need an afternoon or even if I could get away for like three hours and know that he is 100% okay. Like yes, he has three and four hour naps, but he doesn't always stay asleep for that long. So I would not be able to go very far that is for sure, without him taking a bottle. So now I'm going to jump into formula and the pros and cons in my experience with formula. I'm going to say right now that I only have three pros that I could think of. Like I put this list together very quickly. It is not all encompassing. Like I said, I could probably do a part two to this at some point when I get more ideas. Um, no list like this is ever going to be all encompassing because these are my opinions. The first pro I have is dad's involvement. Now, if your breastfed baby will take a bottle of breast milk, then this doesn't really apply, but my baby will not. So a pro to formula feeding, in my experience, is dad's involvement or other family members involvement because they could give him a bottle and me and give me a break which I have on here and dads feel more included I know Jeremy feels very like on the outside because it's like me and Wyatt over here and then it's Jeremy and Max over there because they can't really help besides of course changing a diaper but putting him to bed he needs a boob to go to bed to feed him they're on me and because of that, we also have more of a bond than Wyatt and Jeremy do together. This baby needs to go to sleep. I'm just gonna let him fuss for a minute and I'm going to keep going. So dad's involvement kind of leads into my second point, which is breaks. I would be able to get breaks if he was formula fed because I could go to the gym and Jeremy would have everything he needs to take care of him. Again, this does not apply if your breastfed baby would take a bottle of breast milk. So this is something that we are working on and hopefully he will in the future, but right now he it is not something that he is doing. And me being able to have breaks not only includes the gym, but I could get a full night's sleep without having to worry about things. So Jerry could help with nighttime feedings, although right now Wyatt is sleeping completely through the night. However, I know the four month sleep regression is a real thing. Max went through it, so I'm hoping that Wyatt doesn't, but I'm sure that he will. It also means I would be able to have a drink every once in a while and not feel guilty about it. Um, right now, I've only drank a cooler once and it was not good because he wouldn't take a bottle and I had to feed him anyways. Now when he is a little bit older and he is sleeping through the night, 
uh, when I put him down, maybe I will be able to have a glass of wine or something. That's not something I can do now. And the last pro I have on here is less frequent feedings. I touched on this in the cons of my breastfeeding section where breastfed babies feed more frequently because it's easy it's easily digestible formula is heavier and takes their body longer to digest so even if they're getting the same amount ounce fluid ounce wise a formula fed baby will need less frequent feedings okay now moving on to the cons of formula feeding the first is cost. I touched on this at the, towards the beginning of this video. Formula is so expensive. Um, what Max was on was about $40 every week and a half or so, which is a lot of money that adds up really quickly. The next one I have on here is really silly, but I really don't like it, is the smell of formula. The smell of making it, of feeding a bottle, the smell of spit up, the smell of baby poop, all of it is absolutely disgusting to me when they are formula fed. Why it did have to be formula fed for about 10 days when I had an infection and was on medication that he couldn't have breast milk. And it just brought all of the memories back from when Max was formula fed. It was so gross. I don't know, maybe I'm just extra sensitive to it now, like the smell, I'm really sensitive to scents, like if a food smells really gross, I won't eat it. So that's just me personally, but I can't stand the smell of formula. The next thing I have on here is a big one for me, I have written down bottles. So bottles are expensive to buy, they take a lot of space up in your cupboards cleaning bottles you need to be really careful you have to use good dish soap you need to make sure they're really clean you need to boil them to make sure they're sterilized cleaning them can be a huge process you need to have a special little brush for it to make a bottle you need to boil water first sure the water is nice and clean kill any bacteria you need to then make the bottles but then boiled water is too hot so you need to let it cool down before you make the bottle and then to reheat the bottle, you're not supposed to put it in the microwave. You need to have water heating on the stove or run it under hot water in the tap. Making bottles, cleaning bottles, storing bottles, everything about bottles, I despise. It was such a huge process with Max. It was such a huge process with Wyatt when he had to be formula fed for that ten, those 10 days. It is something that is kind of preventing me from pushing the bottle on Wyatt too much. As much as I would love if Jeremy could take a feeding every once in a while, that means that there will be bottles to clean and bottles to heat up to the perfect temperature for a baby. Like, I just find it so much easier to just feed him myself. Lastly, for my formula cons, I have transport and planning. Meaning, if you want to go out for the day, you need to bring a bunch of bottles. But bottles, once they're pre-mixed and out of the fridge, don't last that long. I think they last between 24 and 48 hours in the fridge, but once you take them out and put them in the car, especially, it would get really hot. If you're outside, say at the zoo or at the park, again, out in the sunshine, they're not going to last very long because they'll get hot and gross. So you need to plan, you need to pack a cooler if you're going on a long trip. You need to plan how many bottles you will need. If you're going out for the weekend to say a family member's house, something like that, you need to plan to bring a bunch of bottles, any bottle cleaning supplies you need if they will not have it, uh, extra formula to bring. Planning to go anywhere with your baby when they are formula fed is just an extra process. Um, I didn't like to go anywhere with Max or even with Wyatt when he was being formula fed for those 10 days, which I keep mentioning, because it was such a huge process. So that is all that I had on my list. Like I said, I just threw that together on the drive home yesterday. I'm sure I will think of many more things uh, now that it's on my mind. But I didn't want to get this video up because I just had the idea and I liked it. 
I would love it if you would share your experiences in the comments below. This is an inclusive channel. I do believe that fed is best, but I do want to close with, I had many more pros, and I also had many more cons with breastfeeding. And I would like everyone, if you are currently pregnant, to make a really informed decision. I would love it if everyone tried breastfeeding, especially in the first few weeks with that colostrum that has all those antibodies for your baby. I see so much of, I'm formula feeding my baby just because it's what I know, or it's easier, or how would I be able to go with my friends? which that just makes my blood boil. However, if you are formula feeding your baby because breastfeeding didn't work out for you, you did not enjoy breastfeeding. Your baby did not enjoy breastfeeding because some babies just never get the hang of it, never get the latch right, don't like it, that's fine. If your um, milk didn't come in or you didn't have enough milk, that can be something that's really hard for women and I can completely understand and I don't want to make you feel guilty for not breastfeeding your baby because formula, like, they're still going to be happy, healthy babies. I just wish more people would try breastfeeding first. But I know lots of people don't even try because they just don't want to. And I really wish people didn't feel that way. So I'm just going to end this video now because I can keep talking and talking about this subject. If you want a part two or you want to hear the story of why Max was a formula fed, I could do those videos for you. You just have to let me know. In the comments, I want everyone to be supportive. You can share your experiences, whether you breastfed or formula fed your baby. Maybe other pros and cons of either that I didn't include in this video today, you could share down below. I don't want anybody picking on each other in the comments. I want this to be an open discussion with no judgment. If you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up so that I know and I can make more videos like these and I will see you in my next video. Bye!